Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Go Cowboys. Oh, wait. Wait. They're not in there. So, we're going to do a thrift haul. Yay. I'm Connie. And I'm Ardria. And we're the Texas the Thrifty, Thrifty Sisters. Sisters. So this week we did not thrift, thrift together. together. No, we had too much going on. So each of us um, did our own little thing. And this is from a mixture of places for me and... and well, just the goodwill for me. So, mm -hmm. so we're just going to jump into it. Okay, you guys? Yep. Um, and by the way, if you like this video, go back and watch our other ones. And hit the like button and subscribe. We would truly appreciate everybody's support. Yep. Okay, now we're going to get started. All right. And at the end of this video, we have a little bit of news on what's going to come up on our uh, our next video. So y'all stay tuned. So, but Connie's going to start. Oh, I'm going first. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm just going to. I only have two pairs of shoes, so I'm going to do those first. Um, I actually went thrifting with my mom at her little honey hole, and she found these, not me. I just time out. That noise that you hear behind us, that would be Riley getting a drink of water. Her my bowl. little puppy. <laughs> or big puppy. Um, so these are Circus by Sam Edelman. And they are in, like, new condition. The only marking on them is from the marker from the thrift store. So, yeah. So that's the first pair of shoes. It has, like, this um, snake skin texture to it. And they are a size 9, I believe. And they look brand new. Yeah, size 9. And then next are these Stuart Weitzman pumps. They are navy blue. Can't tell if that's coming through on that. It has this little kitten heel. Um, and they are a, I don't know what size. Let's see if I can find it quickly. If not, then you'll see it when it's listed in the thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. It has this little bow detail. So just some little career wear um, pumps. Next, I found um, this oh, that's cute. dress. It has this um, little... Trim detail. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, um, it, it was a new to me brand. It's called uh, Ronnie Kobo, and it's sleeveless and it's a size medium. Here's the back of it. Do you know where they sell it? At? I'm not sure where they sell it at. Um, I hadn't heard of it until I saw it, and I could feel that it was good quality, so I looked it up, and the pumps were really well. So this was a flea market find. Um, I didn't find much at the flea market this week, but I did find a few things. So this is just Top Shop, and I don't usually pick up Top Shop. Um, it's a size a US six. There's a Top Shop label, and it's a one shoulder little club outfit. And you see what happens at the flea market? That. <laughs> so, oh no. <laughs> but I think it was like ninety nine cents. So that's the only reason why I picked it up. And it's you know in style and it has like this tone on tone leopard print, and it's hot pink. Um, and then next up is just a J Crew. It's black with pockets. Uh, the number two pencil skirt. I find that they don't sell for a ton, but they sell pretty quick. And this one is a size two, and it is the newer J Crew label, and it's new with tags. And these, by the way, these pencil skirts retail for like seventy five dollars just for a little straight pencil mm -hmm. skirt. So yeah. they go pretty quick. Um, on Posh. Your turn. All right. So I mainly went um, thr uh, thrifting at the Goodwill. Um, sorry, at the Goodwill um, in a couple little local ones. So I didn't find a whole whole lot of stuff, but <clears throat> some good stuff. So first off is this little little um, fossil wallet. Um, it looks in really good condition. Has um, a little like I can clean this off, but just a little fossil um, wallet. Found that. And then a lot again with the little fossil themes. I found this cute little um, green little purse. Um, super uh, clean, really good condition in the inside. Fossils. It doesn't sell for a ton of money, but it sells really quick for me. So um, I went ahead and picked those up. And they were only they were two ninety or two dollars. And I think they, these were half price that week. So got those. And then um, I y'all know I like to wear uh, like to um, buy shoes. So um, these are Bionic little booties. Um, I don't know if you can see the Bionic in there or not. But um, they're Bionic, um, really good brand, and they look um, brand new. They do look they new. They look really, really, um, they're really, really good condition. And they were six ninety nine, and they were also, um, I think these were nine ninety nine. I don't remember. But they look brand new, like they've never been worn, like never been worn. So those are that. And then I'm going to continue with the whole shoe theme going on here. I forgot to take the price tags off of these. But these are some really cute little sandals. They are Eileen Fisher. I guess I forgot to say the size of these. These are these are eight and a halfs. 
but they're like um a, like a um what do you call that mauvey peak kind of color like a blush pink yeah and they have this little knot detail right here and then they have this little twist around the waist and then they zip up in the back but really clean really nice little position this is the other one so those are nice um those by onyx are a size uh, eight and a half also so maybe the same person but maybe not who knows? maybe and then these are really cute these are um uggs and they are basically um, brand new. These were um, knockoff, I believe. Um, but these are basically brand new. They still have like all the stickers and the little hologram thing. And they have this little furry little cushion thing. But I thought these would be great for springtime. You know, they're like a creamy off-white color. Um, and they are a size... They're like an espadrille style. style. Yeah. These are so cute. Uh, size 7. Show but them the they back. Are, <clears throat> yeah, cute, cute bow in the back. But anyway, some really cute shoes that I got. My turn. Okay. These are small, but they are a size 25 and, yeah, size 25, and they are free people high rise skinny pants, and they're black, which I hate photographing black anything. Me too. My black t-shirts um, are horrible. But I thought those would do okay, um, minus the size, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. Somebody's a size 25 where they wouldn't make them, right? Right. Uh, this is a J. Crew chino jacket. It has a different kind of label, so I thought I'd show it. Mm -hmm. Size medium. And oh, how cute is that? It's a really cute jacket. It's got this cute button detail on it, and it is a full length what sleeve. That, what is that in there? Button detail? No, button cute. Yeah. And then um, this is the cuff on it. It's really cute. And it's like a canvas kind of fabric. And then this. I don't, I don't always pick up White House Black Market, but I do like to pick up their career pieces when they are the right price. Right price meaning super, super cheap, like a buck or two. So uh, this is a size 8, and it is the newer White House Black Market um, label, and it's just a basic black again. <laughs> um, you can see what happens with black. Um, it, um, it's just a basic career dress, but it has some cute darting and then this waistband across it, so... Thought it might do good. I would buy it if it, it was my size for me. <laughs> and then these That's are a J. Crew. Shimmy, shimmy. The only problem is they're size zero, and it's a little walking short. Um, they kind of look big for a zero. I Don't thought so think? too. I think they look big for a zero. They're That's really cute size though. Zero. And they have this uh, gold sheen on them, so that's the reason I picked those up. And honestly, I don't really like to, work, to do shorts because I just don't find that they sell that well, even during the heat of the summer. Or maybe I'm just not finding the right ones. Um, next up, I have this um, Sundance, and it's an extra large. If you don't know what Sundance is, it is a catalog brand that does really well, and it's super expensive. Um, it's this sheer like tunic boho. top. Like boho. a boho style. Yeah, yeah, boho style. And it's got like these little handkerchief yeah, detail handling. on the sides. Yeah. That's really um, pretty. I like the color. And it's long sleeve. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty. Maybe one more. Um, and this is Bowden. I I don't know about everybody else, but I love Bowden. It does really well for me. Yeah, Maybe me that's too. my customer. Um, it's a size eight. This is a tunic um, top, and it's this fun little springy print. So I thought mm -hmm. it would do well. Oh, that's and yeah, like this has got the little gather waist in the back. Yeah. You see, she was talking about that last elastic little gather in the back. So. Be a little figure flattering, and I think it's 100% linen. Let me just double check. Yep, it's 100% linen. So, yeah, good point. Awesome. Okay. All right, so we're going to continue with the whole shoe thing going on here. <laughs> so, I've never picked up Crocs, but um, I went ahead and got these um, because um, Nicole says she, Nicole State says she sells them, so I thought I'd try them, and they were new with tags. Um, but they're cute little sandals, and they've got this little gold medallion. Um, thing right here. Um, like I said, they're brand spanking new. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd try them. See how they see how they sell. So they're super cute. They are a size seven, size seven. Okay. They're brown with a gold little like medallion. <laughs> then I found. I never found this brand to, brand before. So this is Kelsey Dagger Brooklyn. These cute. What would you call those? I don't even I don't know what to call cute, them. But they're super cute. They have this little I gathered. Um, <laughs> huh. It takes a special person, Meryl. <laughs> I think they're cute. I think I don't know. I just okay. think they're kind of trendy. 
They're know. trendy. Yeah. I'm not sure what size they are. Let's see. Probably give them like size. Everlane vibes. Yeah, they're eight and a half. So, um, but anyway, but yeah. And they look like they maybe been worn just a couple of times. So the tops are actually impeccable today. But that's no. They're very good condition. Um, these are just some Lucky brand, but uh, again, they look brand new. The, the plastic is still on here, um, like, and they're super buttery. Like this, the leather is super soft, but they're just this little mm -hmm. loafer. Um, but Very they're nice. in a really good condition, and um, like I said, it doesn't look like they've ever been worn. And <laughs> seven and a half. Seven and a half. No. So nice. I actually found some decent shoes. It's a good, um, good leather on there. Yeah, I actually found. Some and then continuing with the whole shoe thing, these are some Papa Hall with shoes. Yeah, it is Papa Hall with shoes. <laughs> I have a little shoe thing going on right now. But Fetish. are these the little um, Sam Edelman sandals? You can see the Sam Edelman. They have the little tie up. I wish I had a, a picture that I could insert there, but I don't know how to insert. Pictures, so <laughs> it really wouldn't do me any We would have to edit. And yeah. we don't edit. And we don't edit. <laughs> so um, anyway, it has this little wrap ankle tie um, with this little, like, kind of a cloggy. Um, feel to it they are a size 10 so but super cute like suede brown awesome so i thought it'd be great for um for summer time and then i've never heard of this brand but when i looked up the comps i thought i'd go ahead and take a chance on them they are called um circle g and they are this like distressed booty and it's got these fun little leather twist thing and then this little medallion um thing here they are really cute. If you're they in are Texas, in, they would be awesome for rodeo season. <laughs> yes. It's rodeo season yeah. now. Here. And they are in great condition, maybe worn a couple of times. Um, they are size eight and a half. Actually, I might wear these to rodeo if nobody buys them before then because I think they're super cute. Are you going to so, rodeo? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> she is now because she got some cute boots. I was like, I need some cute boots. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, your turn. Oh, is it my turn? Okay. So, this is a free people dress it is a size oh, really large pretty. and i'm trying to be pickier with free people but this is a good size size large i don't always find it in larger sizes and i thought this was a perfect spring summer dress yeah, that's really it's sheer cute. and it has this full i love the sleeves flowy yeah, skirt yeah. and yeah it has a cute little um smocked sleeve and it buttons um up the top so, yeah, I thought that was a good mm -hmm. pick up. Like I said, I don't... Your pile's getting in the way. My pile's getting in the way. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I don't like to pick up free people, but here we go again. <laughs> and this is also a size large. So, I am trying to find it in the bigger sizes and sizes that I like. And so, this is a zip-up jacket. And it has this um, uh, crocheted stitching on it on the waist and around the collar and on the pockets. So I thought that was cute and can, in good condition. And then this is a brand that when I list it, it sells super fast. So this is Jay McLaughlin and it is a size large and it's a dress. It's a white, navy and white striped dress. It has the wide neckline that catches at the shoulders like so. Mm -hmm. cute. Um, and did I already say this? It's a size large, so I think that, that will do really well. And it, I think it's a knee, a midi length dress, so I think mm -hmm. that'll do good in that size. But literally, even on e um, like on eBay, it goes really fast, and it sells for asking price. The last couple of pieces sold for asking price, and so um, I think I'm going to pick that up every single time. Um, this, is, this is Carl Lagerfeld, and it is a size 4. Um, and it is hooked to itself. Hang on. <laughs> of course. Whoops. It's just a little cute career dress. Oh, look at the lace on the back. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, and it has this cute lace trim. Really pretty. So I went ahead and got that. I don't always pick up Carl Lagerfeld either because some of the pieces are not cute. But I thought that was cute. I think this is nice. Is there anything else? All right. Well, let me just finish with my shoes. So I found the. <laughs> <laughs> so let me. Just, so these are so stinking cute. I wish I was a size yeah, eleven because I, I would totally get those. But they're this just little um, gingham black and white checkered Sam Edelman little flap with the pointy toe. But again, super cute. Um, you know, there is somewhere on the bottom, but 
um, at this, this is going to be great for spring and summer. Oh, it's gingham be will be cute. really yeah, cute yeah. for so summer. Somebody needs these because you can wear them with casual. You can wear them to the office. They're super versatile. So, And it's a pattern that will mix with other patterns really real yeah. well, like florals and stuff yeah. like that. Um, this is just a um, an athleta, but it is new with tags um, that I found. It's super cute. There's It's a small, but it's just this little athleisure um, dress. It is uh, got a tank and it's got the razor back back with a gathered um, waistband um, in the middle. And then it's um, kind of a longer skirt, but it's super soft, super cute, and brand new with tags. So I couldn't pass that up. Then I found Bowden, like Connie said. <laughs> Does really, really well for me. Um, this is a size doo -doo, a size four. Um, it has, it's what did you call it? Like a kind of a Jackie O kind of like thing going on. Oh, yeah, with a little eye. collar. Yeah, with a little collar. It's like a Peter Pan and, collar. Yeah, and it's just, um, just this really cute midi uh, length. Super nice. Like I said, great career piece um, for the office. And then, you know, we are going in the summertime, and um, Connie had mentioned the Miracle Suit um, the other day, so I found a couple of them. So um, these, I wasn't really keen on the pattern um, or the colors, but they don't really speak summer to me, but somebody likes browns and blacks. So it's a Miracle it's a cute Suit. cute neckline, too, yeah. right here, which is And it's much. got some pad, it's padded, and it is a side. It's a Miracle Suit. You can see that. And it is a size 10. So it's a good size. So anyway, so if you're needing some uh, Miracle Suits, for the summer, um, hook my, go to my closet, I'll hook you up. Um, I might as well do the other one. <laughs> this is a purple, purple one. Again, it has, the, it's the Miracle Suit, and it is a size, I think it's in here, the Heather Cherie. It tags them, bathing tags suits sometimes them. get faded from the water. The water and everything. Um, I can't remember, I can't see it. Oh, it's right there, but I can't see the U.S. size. U.K. size says... 44. 44. I don't know. I think it's a big size. It's like a 12, 12 or 14. 14. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just purple and it has the little gathered. It's a pretty blue. Weight. Or is it blue? Purple. Blue, purple. Or blue, purple. I might have Who knows? But super nice. Um, it has it does um have a little bit of padding in the bra, so it's really cute. Um, then <laughs> I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> no. So this little purse is has this little westerny kind of um, deal with the little buckle um, opening side pocket, and then it has the zipper. It's it got is tooled leather. Tooled it's leather, yeah. It term. is a um, is that Patricia? Patricia Nash. Patricia Nash, which I've never found this brand. And actually, to be honest with you, I can't remember what the comps were or anything. But, but she's known for the tooled leather yeah. uh, bags. <laughs> but it zips up the side. It has a little side pouch over here that um, snaps here and then the handle is in great condition there's no cracking or anything like that so and it is a dark brown or blackish um color but it's really really pretty and really soft leather too yeah super pretty all righty um next up is another number two pencil skirt but this one's got pretty spring colors in it and that's by j crew and this is one is a size four um the next is this is a madewell uh, made well skirt oh, and a cute. size large and it just buttons down the front and I know it's not buttoned right there but the buttons are there they're all there and have a little tear sorry if you see me our screen keeps kind of dying so I'm we're refreshing <laughs> it as we go um this is a Lafayette 148 I'm trying to be pickier about it but I love to pick up career wear and that's what all of it is so kind of has the store tag on it um it's a xxl mm -hmm. and it's a hundred percent silk and Ooh, it is an open front Pardon. blazer um has the, these front pockets so i thought that was good and it's in a good size so i think it'll do pretty good um and then next with the jackets is a cabbie it's a size four um and it is a cut i think it's cotton but it's this little chambray fabric striped um blazer and it has these cute little chevron striped pockets um and then next up is maybe i should stop saying next up um <laughs> i think i say that everyone we're still getting used to the whole video thing so we don't really know what to do with our hands or our eyes when we're not talking and all that kind of this stuff. one is adriana papel it's a size 10 um 
I thought it was a fun pattern and great for a cocktail oh, wow. um, dress. This cocktail party has this ruffle detail that's, that's really flattering. Pretty. And Adriana Papel also sells pretty quick for me. Um, so, again, she's not going to sell for $500, but she is a quick flip. It almost says it's like a like it's greenish and grayish or something. Yeah, like it I don't know if you can see the print. It kind of ombres down, down and the color changes. It's just really pretty. Hopefully, yeah. I can photograph it and get the pictures clear yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for me. All right. So I got this, and it's I vowed that I was not going to buy single bathing suit pieces, um, but I did. <laughs> but this is a La Blanca. Um, and they're, they're pretty um, pricey little bathing suits, but it's reversible. Like, you can wear it as just this little hanky or whatever, and you can wear it black on one side, and then it reverses because the label, like, this goes back and forth, or it is brown. Yeah, and I figure cool. any, you can wear it with any black bottoms, it would be, you know, fine or whatever, because it does, even when you have it on this side, you can see the black details with the wrapped little strap, and it's got the cinched waist. Super cute. Um, padded, and it is a, did I say what size it is? It's a size 6. So, anyway, some mom or somebody might want that. Um, <clears throat> I love me some Athleta. So, I found these Athleta pants. They're a size small. Um, these purple, like, ath yeah, I'm trying to, whatever. Yeah. They're sticking together. But they kind of had a wide leg, uh, but they have po pockets in the front and pockets in the back. Um, super comfy, little, um, look comfy. Yeah, after you go to the gym and you just want to slip on something comfy to go run around Erin Gym, this would be a perfect pair of pants for that. Or to the bins. Or to the or to the bins. <laughs> that would be because it does have pockets. And then again, I have found another, and I got this because it was just the pattern. The brand is not anything big, but I love the colors in it. It's going to be super flattering with this ruching around the waist. It's just a Lauren Ralph Lauren bathing suit. Got this little bold detail on the strap, but I just thought the colors were fun and screamed summertime, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then this one is just, <clears throat> again, we're, you know, transitioning. I'm trying to look more for summer and spring. It's just a J. Crew. It's the new Curse of J. Crew. Little um, graphic t-shirt, but it just says love first. And, um, yeah, just a little t-shirt. not going to go for a whole lot, but I thought it was super cute. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Okay. This is one of my better finds of the week. Um, this is a Ted Baker blazer. Mm, that's good. It says, I don't know, working title. I don't know if that is anything with Ted Baker. I don't, I'm not that familiar with the brand. I know the name, and I've only found it one other time. But it is just a blazer, black blazer, three-quarter sleeve, and it has, hold like, like, it. <laughs> get it, it has together. like rose gold, like buttons. Buttons on it. On it. They're not like gold gold. They're like a rose, rose gold. And, and it's, I think it, I don't think it buttons. I think it's an open front yeah. blazer. And then there's the back. But yeah, it's that's really tailored, and it has it almost has like a little Teflon like thing around the back of it. Yeah, it's got a slit basically in the back right there. But anyway, it's one of the better finds that I found as far as name brands. Um, I haven't ran comps on it, so I hope it's good. Hmm. We'll find out. And this brand is a low key brand. So I found another jacket like this, and when I looked it up, um, it retails for a lot of money. I'll tell you. It doesn't move fast because I don't think it's as popular, but it does retail for a lot. Um, so the comps are pretty good, the few that are on Poshmark. The brand is called Bassler, and that's the label. I don't know if it's coming through because it's like this white and pink label. It's super light. And the size on it is on the inside. Um, it's a larger size, but it is a black zip-up blazer, and it has this textured... Um, I don't know if the texture's coming through on there because it's black again. I need to stay out of the woven. black sections because they're hard to photograph. Um, like this woven. And then it's got this faux leather um, detail trim along the waist. And on the sleeve. On the yeah. sleeve. And here's the sleeves with the cuffs too. And then on the neckline. And the zipper line. I and think it has it's... a little bit of a padded shoulder. Yeah. And this is a European brand. So it has European sizing. So let me check and see if it has the U.S. sizing too. Um... Here I go. Let's see. Can you see what it says? Is it 16? Maybe, Maybe it's a size yeah, 16. 16. It says 44. We should think it's, that says 16, so we'll see. Yeah, and um, like I said, it's a European brand. But anyway, I don't think it'll move fast. Maybe better on eBay, but we'll see how it goes. 
but it's in right it's in great condition and then this is a brand I don't pick up that often but if it's cheap and a good size I will and if I can find it I will oh, no. <laughs> this is size I know it's a size 14 I think yeah a 14 and it's ASOS and I'm gonna stand up because it's a maxi skirt but um, it's this cute flowy ruffly maxi skirt and I thought it was perfect for summer somebody going on vacation needs this so if you're size 14 come looking for it and then I'm gonna do these are Lululemon leggings um, and they're a cute that color. pink color. They are not a full length. They're more of a cropped legging. And they have this cute like perforated like, yeah. side panel. And then there's the Lululemon logo. And let me see if I can find a size. Or not. <laughs> I'm not going to even try, y'all. I'll find it later and it'll... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. This one. Hmm. Okay. You never know where they've tucked it away at. Oh, there it is. Size six. Okay. I'm just going to let y'all know the few times, and I haven't found them in the same places, I always find a size six Lulu. <laughs> is that all of them? Yeah. Go ahead. I have three. Yeah. Okay. But you can go. Well, I'll just go on with the Lululemon thing, because um, I found Lululemon, too, but there's, like, the, like, um, I don't, I don't know um, what, um, what this is, which one, which one this is or anything, but it's, there, it's also a size six, but it's, like, a purple and, like it's a cute print. Uh, yeah. I like um, this band on top. Yeah, it has it's this so band cute. on the top. It has the little zippered pocket in the back. It still has the zip the rip cord. It's there a size it's a size six. Um, so between the well. two of us, you size yeah. sixes can come get you There's some Lulu. There's the little logo. But they're really cute. Like I said, if they make it past my daughter, um I'll be they'll be in my Poshmark closet. So hopefully she, she won't, won't tell find her. anything. Yeah. Although she was shopping this past weekend in my closet. <laughs> was she? <laughs> Um, oh, and this oh, is just an athletic, like a, a tennis skirt. It's that Kalia, um, Kalia by Carrie Underwood, which I haven't really been buying a whole lot because it hasn't really been moving as fast for me. But it's just a little cute little um, tennis skirt. It's I got the little spandex um, shorts underneath. It is a size um, extra small, but it's like a gray and um, darker gray around the bands. It's really um, feels brand new. It doesn't feel like they whoever wore it wore it hardly at all. Um, and then. Some more clothes. I found this J. Crew um, little just career piece dress. It's a size um, 14, but it is new with tags. Um, uh, J. Crew little, um, yeah, just a navy um, lined uh, sleeveless little career piece. Super nice. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I was melting it that oh. whole time. <laughs> Now this is a new to me brand. I um uh I watched one of Nicole State's um, videos the other day, and it's just some um, leggings, but they're leaf leaf. How do you say that? I don't know Lice, how you say it. Lacy leaf. So I don't know. Don't don't slaughter me because I'm not sure. But they're just tan. They're leggings, but they have this like faux leather um, stripe detail that goes all the way down the side on both. Legs. They almost look like equestrian riding. <laughs> they do. Pants. But, and Maybe it's just stretch, stretch, but. but um, I haven't looked up the comps, but I just saw it, and I had remember her saying that they actually do pretty well, so I thought I'd try them, so we'll see. And then um, uh, this is just, and I didn't almost didn't pick this up because it's not one of their typical pieces. It's just that residual or however you say it, but um, usually their pieces are super colorful. This is just navy and like, it's like a tone-on-tone -tone blue, but it's like a little maxi dress, okay. um, but it's really pretty. Um something a little different it, it has, has like cow a scoot yeah it has the cow neck um it has the little um you know thing in the back but it's kind of stretchy it's, um it's a size um zero or small i believe so yeah so um, if you find residual or like those types of brands if you're gonna list them on poshmark or ebay put wearable art in the description and i think sometimes yeah. people that are into those brands um search on that yeah. and then that'll i just have three more do you want me to finish or you go or you want Okay, I'm on her fast. I'm on her fast. It's not nothing crazy. This is just cabbie. Again, it's a, just a little professional little um, uh, jacket. It buttons up. It's got the silver tabs. And it kind of, the back of it has this, and the front of it, the, it's got almost, I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like a metallic -y kind of know. sheen to it. It's pretty. But it's really pretty. I thought it was really nice. And like I said, I've been really selective when it comes to cabbie and everything. But I don't know. I just thought this would look cute with a black pencil skirt or a black pair of slacks. 
um, great for the office, or even with a pair of jeans, actually, if you want to go okay. out or something on the town. It would be very versatile. Then <clears throat> I love me some St. John's. So I happened to found, find another St. John piece. It's just happened. a little. <laughs> just happened up on it. <laughs> it's just a little zip, um, zipped up sweater. It's actually a small size for St. John. I don't usually find it um, this small of sizes, but it's just a size two. But it has this little um, kind of military little detail around the collar and around on the shoulder pads. And it has does have shoulder pads. And then it's got the braiding that goes all the way down the sleeve and with some two front pockets. And then my last little, it was so funny because I was at my Goodwill and they were just bringing out some more, you know how you always run over to their little bucket things and it was, there was nothing in it and then I moved one thing and um, <clears throat> it was a little Tory, Tory Burch, um little zip up wallet. Just um, happened to be sitting there waiting, waiting for her. her. <laughs> Super good little condition. Real it's clean cute. and everything. Nice. It does have a, a little bit of wear just like here on the corner. It's got a little darkened. I'm going to try to just clean that up a little bit. So you can tell it's been used, but I think it still has a lot of life left. And I might not get a ton for it, but, you know, you can never, per and it was $1.99. So you can never pass up Tori. So. No, you cannot. Okay. Um, so this is a basic um, Sundance. And it's a size small, so I almost didn't get it, but it was on a dollar table at the flea market. So what the heck? I don't know. I'll get my money back on it. But it has this crisscross front, and it has this ruched detail on the side, on the side that's very flattering. And it's a stretch knit. Um, this is um, Aviva, which is the Lululemon Kids line. Um, it's a size 12, and they're just these cute little leggings that are hooked together. Get ruched on the side, and there's the um, Aviva logo there. Put it on the side of the table. <laughs> I wasn't going to leave her. <laughs> and then this is another one of my better finds for the week. Um, it is Rebecca Minkoff, and it is this cute little oh, tweed. How cute is that? Dress. That dress. is so cute. Isn't it Look cute? That. I was happy to find it. Because I've never found a Rebecca Me anything Rebecca Minkoff. Now that I think about it, that was actually in good condition. Yeah, I have a shoes and a wallet, but that's it. Never clothing. But these beading, uh, this is where it's orange. This orangish color, that's bead bead work, and they're all there. Mm -hmm. all that up. is so stinking cute. Um, so yeah, it's really cute. It has the um, exposed zipper on the back, and the um, straps are like this canvas strap. But yeah, I thought it was a good find. I think it's a size. Let me see what size it is. Size four. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really, really, really cute. That's all I got. <laughs> so, we have some news. We're going on a little adventure. Connie, me, and actually we're taking my husband with us. We're going to let him tag along. Yeah, we're going to let him tag along. <laughs> he could be our wingman. Right. And um, So, we are next Sunday... We may or may not have a video. Um, if we get done early enough on Sunday, we'll record what we've got because Sunday we are going to be flying into, we're going to tell them, Denver. Denver. So, so we'll be hitting the bins at um, in Denver and maybe a few other spots. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so we'll be yeah. there for a couple of days. If you don't see us on Sunday, that's because we're exhausted or we're having too much fun finding things. Right. But if not... Stay to uh, stay tuned until we get back, and we hopefully will have an amazing haul for you. Hopefully, we keep maybe, our fingers crossed. <laughs> maybe we will. Um, hopefully, we find enough stuff that we have to break it down right. into two or three videos. Right, and so, we may try to vlog a little bit just on our, you know, on our journey and our adventure and everything. So you yeah. never know. Hopefully, it'll be fun. Um, I know we haven't put anything up on our Instagram, but that's coming this week. And if you follow mm -hmm. along on Instagram at uh, Texas Thrifty Sisters on Instagram. We might story from our Goodwill uh, outlet and thrift store outings while we're there in Denver. Um, so go yeah. follow us and we will keep you updated on there. And until then, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and let us know please, what you think. Please, please, um, Yeah. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. Our closet, oh, our closet name. Closet we, name. we always Ooh, forget to give sorry. you our closet names on Poshmark. You go first. AZ Berry and Connie's Hanger on Poshmark and eBay. And uh, we'll link our we'll link our um we'll link our closets down below. So. All right. Bye. Bye. See you next weekend.